This is 11.3, translating the graph of a logarithmic function. So it says translate y equals log base 2 of x to become y equals log base 2 of x minus 2 plus 3. So it really wants to know what it's doing with the graph and then you're going to move it around to make it match that graph. So this graph will already have been placed on the paper. Um, so let me see. trying to do this in my head so give me a second okay so it will have two points or one point on the graph itself and then you're just basically gonna grab this and Alex and move it around okay for me I would actually have to graph it uh, but for you you're just gonna shift it and move it around so um, what does this translations do whatever happening outside the logarithm is going to move it up if it's a plus and move it down if it's a negative. What is inside the argument is going to go, if it's minus, you're going to go to the right. And if it's plus, you're going to go to the left. Okay. So it's whether or not you're in the argument or outside the argument. So this is in the argument. And then this is outside the argument. Okay, so you have to pay attention to that, whether the plus or minus is happening in the argument of the log, or it's just kind of off to the side after you've already dealt with the log. It's just a plus three off to the side or anything. So mine, I have a minus, which means I would have to grab my graph and move it left two units because I'm minusing two and it has to go to the right. Then since I'm adding three outside of the base, I mean outside of the argument, that means I'm going to be going up three units. Now, basically what you would do is you would just grab it in Alex and then move it around. So, but for me, I gotta take this point and move it left two and then up three. And then I've gotta take this point and move it left two and then up, or this one, sorry, left two and then up one, two, three. And then logarithms also have a horizontal asymptote, which is on the y-axis. That, it if it moves up or down, it's not really going to do anything. I mean, if you take this asymptote and you move it up three, it's still in the same location. There's arrows on both sides. So moving it up or down doesn't do anything. But if you move it to the left two, now you have a, a vertical asymptote at the value negative two. So now there's that asymptote, okay? And then if I draw this, it'll be here. Now again, in your computer, all you're doing is grabbing it and moving it where it needs to move. It's not as complicated as drawing it on paper. Okay, so that was log base two. Here they try to throw you a curve and use log base e. It really doesn't matter. Um, the y-axis and it still has this kind of motion going on here. I'm trying my best to draw it curvy, but you know I'm never great at drawing these things. Okay, so now let's look at the transformation. So here I have a plus in the argument, which means I'm actually going to go left one unit. And then I have a minus outside the argument, so outside those parentheses, right? Which means I'm going to be it down two units. So I'm going to take these two points again and I'm going to go left one unit and then down two units. So then I end up with this sort of thing. That's actually going to be a little bit more there. And then again, this, if you move it up or down, doesn't matter. So if I move the whole asymptote down two units, it's not going to do anything. 
But if I move it to the left one unit, well now you have a vertical asymptote over there. And so there's my points, okay? Um, this one being the answer. Okay, so the purple one being the answer. Here, the purple one was the answer. Okay, so in the computer, you just grab and drop and you're done.